Now, if we talk about this action long time ago, the CBM was much faster. So wind up would be the same from the history, but the CBM would happen faster and therefore there wouldn't be a down scoop. Developing the dancing, when the dancing is now extremely improving with the speed and with the motion, there was added this beautiful action that helps also to keep the center together, not to twist inside. So that would be a natural scoop and that would be samba roll action. Now, if we're gonna do that again, please do that. At the end of the scoop, as you see, Mirko has to finish with the left side forward and up. If he's finishing with the left side down, it's better not to do that scoop. Now, we will do exactly the same to the left. So we will do the preparation again, as you see, first is the head weight invitation for the preparation. And then Mirko will dance a scoop and we will finish with the right side up and again wind up and the natural scoop and preparation reverse scoop and natural scoop and reverse scoop. Now, if we talk about classical and innovative action, here we have to talk very clearly that long time ago and also if we talk about more more classical, more linear dancing, the scoop, as I already mentioned to the right, should be a little bit less. Of course, only you and your teacher at the end will decide how deep could be the scoop and what is the best for your couple. If we're talking about reverse scoop, CBM to the left, the classical one is the one that I explained in the previous lectures during the reverse drive. Now, if I want to remind everybody about the previous lecture and the classical reverse drive, would, Mirko would have to have a wind up with the head still to the left. Then he would use the standing leg, remain with the shoulder blade rotated to the right, CBM action just in the hip, and at the end of the driving step, finishing with the left shoulder blade still forward and with the head left. This is a classical driving action to the left. Now, this action was as a fashion, it's again, it's not a principle, as a fashion way developed and the scoop became available also to the left driving action. So the scooping action to the left became like innovative thing. Now we're gonna show you the natural scoop, the natural turn, and we will apply quite a strong scoop. What is very important for the person who is moving backwards, when the frontal person is doing this scoop that Mirko just demonstrated, the backward person has to follow the scoop. So if the backward person will not do the scoop, follow the scoop, if will not do the scoop, immediately we will have the shoulder line that wouldn't match. So I will try to show you strongly how I will follow this Mirko scoop. Okay, we will show it again. So that was the natural scoop. Now we will demonstrate you reverse scoop. First we will dance progressive chassis to the right with the classical CBM action and with the classical body action. Okay. Now we will show you with the scooping action. One more time.
I will tell you honestly, it's much more difficult to balance the body with the scooping action. So you have to have very, very strong feet and very, very strong balance. And you have to be balanced and strong to be able to do that. Because as I mentioned before, body actions, exaggerated body actions, without the base or with shoulder line distortions can destroy your dancing. So you have to be very careful how you improve your dancing. Second body action that one, we want to talk about is the swaying action. We spoke about it before in the previous lectures, but now we will talk about it more detailed. And the swaying action...